find the volume common to the cylinders x square plus y square equal to a square and x square plus z square equal to a square. So two cylinders are given to us. We need to find the volume common to these cylinders, right? Now if you look at the figure 1, there are two cylinders and volume common to these two cylinders is shown over here. So uh, if you notice here, there are eight equal sections in the volume that is common to these two cylinders. One, two, three, four, four above and then other four are to the other side, right? So the required volume will be eight times the volume in the first quadrant. That is one eighth of the required volume which is shown in figure 2. So in figure 2, only one eighth of the required volume is shown, right? So it becomes 8 times the required volume that is shown in figure 2. Is it okay? Fine. Alright. Now the section of the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to a square. This is the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square in the xy plane. Right? The section of the cylinder x square plus y square equal to a square is the circle x square plus y square equal to a square in the xy plane. Right? And it is evident that z is to be evaluated over the quadrant of the circle this one in the first quadrant right okay now i can have the value of z a square minus x square under the root right so because i need this value z so z value can be taken from the given cylinder so this will be a square minus x square under the root in the formula, dy dx is also there or you can also write dx dy. Now to decide which one to write, dy dx or dx dy, that will be decided by the what kind of the limits we are taking. Now in this figure too, I'm having this xy plane and if you notice here x is varying from 0 to a. This is A is a distance from the origin up to here. So the limits of X is OK which are constant from 0 to A. So that is why because the limits of X are constant an outermost integral is having always the constant limits. So I must go with dy dx. Taking the limits for X to be from 0 to A from 0 to a right which means the limits of y that should be in the form of x now this is the origin o so the limits of y it will be from 0 to okay what is the value of y in x you can take the value y in x from here right so that is y is a square minus x square under the root so this is square root of a square minus x square. So putting here from 0 to square root of a square minus x square. Shall we start solving this now? Alright. First of all, just put the value of z here from here. So this is 8 times 0 to a 0 to this is a square minus x square square root and the value of z will be a square minus x square square root and here I'm having dy yes dy dx so this is 8 0 to a because the innermost integrand has to be integrated with respect to y so x is constant a is constant so just integrate this that is this complete is constant 
So writing this as it is and the integration for 1 is y. 0 to square root of a square minus x square dx. Putting the upper limit over here, I get square root of a square minus x square into square root of a square minus x square, which will give a square minus x square minus putting 0 in y, you get 0. So this is dx. Now integrating this with respect to x, I get a square x minus x cube over 3 from 0 to a. Okay, putting the upper limit, I get a cube minus a cube over 3. That will give me 3 minus 2 by 3. So this will give me 2a cube over 3 minus putting 0, you get 0. So this is equal to 16a cube over 3 as the required answer. That is the required volume. Comment to the cylinders. Okay, thanks.